I think in today's world, the average person often listens to music in the background while they're doing other things. And music is pleasant and entertaining and it reminds you of certain things and, and so it's, it's valuable that way. But in, in this day and age, it's actually rare that we sit down and do nothing but listen intently to a piece of music. You know, when we think about it, when we go to a film, we do nothing but watch the film. Right? We're not doing Facebook, we're not doing the dishes, we're not doing homework. We are just utterly engrossed in this experience of the film. When people go to a classical music concert and there's nothing going on except musicians playing music, you suddenly realize, oh, this is actually what it was written for. It was written for our total engagement. Um, I think people are often quite astonished what happens to them at a live music concert. Um, particularly a classical concert where you're not even dancing, there's no mosh pit, you know, and you're not singing along like a pop tune. You might go see a pop star and you're very full of activity while you're watching. But a classical concert asks you to sit quietly and do nothing but pay total attention to the music as though you're at a film. And a lot of people don't even know you can do that. But once you go to a concert, you realize, oh my God, this is almost overwhelmingly powerful. But for those who, who really do um, just sit there and pay total attention to the music, I mean, they will reach a whole new level of, of thoughts. They will realize that, that classical music can take you into worlds of thought, you know, just like a book can, just like a poem can, just like a film can. It's often quite, quite surprising to a lot of people. Mm -hmm.